been entertaining us for decades as a founding member of the Grammy-winning group, The Fifth Dimension. Okay, so now, at 80 years old, she is living her best life by teaching us how to age gracefully with her book, Grace in Your Second Act. Please welcome Florence LaRue. <laughs> Let the sun shine in. <laughs> that was it. I mean, when, when you hear that song, Florence, what do you think? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm excited to be here, Sherry, because to be with a beautiful young woman who is respecting and coming together with our seniors, it is so of exciting. Of course, of course. course. Kudos to you. You don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. That's I mean, and right. that's where you gotta get it. But it's just like, when you came in, people were singing this song, so it's just like, what goes through your mind? We, is... When we first recorded the song, we, we thought about, you know, um, happiness and hope. And, but yes. now, you know, Sherry, everything is so dark in the world. People are so, uh, uh, they're, they're just not happy. And to have people like you who are spreading love, spreading <laughs> happiness. And we That's need that. We need that today. Especially young people, because you know, some of the young people, they just throw us old folks away, you know, mm -hmm. they're old. But no, sir. I, I was told not to use the word old, it's mature. It's but you mature. know, honey, some of us are just plain old. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, I remember um, I was watching the documentary by Questlove, oh. Summer of Soul, which won an Oscar. Yes. And it was, if you haven't seen it, please yeah. rent it. Oh. And you guys came on, The Fifth Dimension came on, and it was, and it, they were singing Let the Sun Shine In. And, and I think it introduced a whole new audience to The Fifth Dimension. How does it feel to receive those flowers? It was fabulous, Sarah, because first of all, a lot of people didn't know we were a black group. And yes. to see that many people of all races, of all ages, of all genres, and not one bit of, 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 of negativity. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. That's what we need more of in the That's world. That's exactly what we need That's more what of. That's what music can do. Yeah. I'm looking at you, Florence, and it's, it's, it's breaking my heart because I'm, I'm supposed to say Miss Florence, but I, we're going to talk. We could be Florence. Okay, okay Florence, and 80 years old, first of all, you look so Thank you. good. <laughs> Thank you. So looking as good as you do, why did you feel the need to write a book about grace in your second act and aging gracefully? Well, sure, there were two reasons. One reason was people were always asking me, what do you do? How do you have the energy that you have? What do you eat? So I said, well, I can share it. With you. There are books out there that tell you that. But the main reason was, at, during the holidays, I would visit at homes of, of the elderly. Mm -hmm. And there, just imagine, people lying in bed, many of them uh, with no cards, no photos of their families, and a lot of them there unnecessarily because some of them had given up on life. And I wanted to encourage people, especially the younger people, to prepare for those times. You know, when you're young, you think, oh, well, I'll, I'll prepare financially, but you don't need to pre prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. Ooh, you know, ooh. You, you've got to live. Money can't buy you good health. That's right. You know? That's right. Money can't buy you good health. You, so you want, you want to, like you say, you want to just live a, a good life. And don't just exist, live. 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 And that's, speaking of when you say live, you said that there's a difference. You said there's a difference between getting older and growing older. What's the difference? Well, let's face it, honey. We all have to get older. Okay. You know, but we all we can all also grow old. It's like a flower. I have a plant that was in my mother's hospital room over ten years ago. Yeah. And it's still alive. Why? Because I nurture it. You know, I feed it. I clip it. If we take care of ourselves, we can live wonderful lives. You know, people are afraid of getting older because if you watch television, what do you see? You see commercials. Oh my goodness, do I have that yeah, disease? Yeah, scare you. You know, you start Googling it, Googling it. But if you prepare for your, uh, your senior years and in, prepare to enjoy them, don't, oh. fe don't fear growing older, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. I often wonder, you know, Florence, I, 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 being on social media a lot, so many people, they, they just cater to youth. It's all about being young, young, young. Why do you think that is that so many people are obsessed with youth? They're afraid of getting older. Mm. 
it's, go it's going to happen, so enjoy it. Embra embrace it. You know, I, I prepare myself by taking care of my health, yeah. by taking care of mentally, physically, and spiritually. You and, you, and you have such a great spirit. That is so important yeah. because it's inside and out. You know, inside and out. I mean, because you can do all kinds of things. You know, to be beautiful. You know, there's all kinds of um, surgeries and things. But inner beauty—that's something. Yeah. It's, it's attitude. That's it's your it. Attitude. It is the attitude. Yes. And I always tell people, laughter is so good for the oh, soul. It necessary. really. You laugh a lot. You yeah, I try. Humor. <laughs> I try. But you know, I want to ask you. So, being 80, what's the romance life looking like? Are you dating anybody? What's well, honey, I'm not dating anybody right now, but I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm, hey! I'm, 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 I'm old, as I say. <laughs> as I say, I'm old, but I ain't dead. As a matter of fact, you know... Um, no, they didn't hear that. You said... She I said, it. I'm old, but I ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, people say, oh, you should go on the dating... You know, on the dating that was on the Internet. Yes. No, I don't believe that. But I do, you know, I go to church, uh -huh. you know, and um, I said, maybe there might be somebody there. So I went there, knowing that I'm a singer, you know, they yes. said, oh, well, you can choose the, the him. I said, I'll take him and him and him. <laughs> Thank you for kicking off my, uh, you know, because I do want to honor like age and wisdom and beauty. And I thank you for kicking it off with me. And I just want to say thank you for being here. And Florence LaRue's book, Grace in Your Second Act, A Guide to Aging Gracefully, is now out. And studio audience, she brought you all a copy. Mm -hmm.